Salve, people of the universe. My name is Lord Salvatore, and today we're going to be talking about the fact that Disney has lost the plot. So, if you haven't been keeping up with, uh, lately, what's been happening, there's been a lot of controversy around Disney movies, the m including the Marvel movies and TV shows, and also uh, a very recent thing that came out called Praise P.T. Now, let's start with that, because that's the uh, craziest part, I think, in all of this. Disney Plus has no longer just Disney things. Not like, in the sense that like it's no longer just for kids, basically, right? There's more mature things coming out, including in the Marvel Universe, but also besides that. They're trying to really expand their horizons. The problem is, they recently added a TV show that's about a cult that includes s blood sacrifices and other things that people call satanic. Which, you know, I personally don't really like to use those terms because you're basing the argument of religion alone. But the problem that I have with this is, there's no like age filter on it on the Disney Plus app, uh, which is really weird. Because it, it's dealing with some very mature terms and uh, ideas. Now, uh, of course, a parent should get to choose, right? Wh what they expose their children to. But what this means is that basically your child is no longer safe on the Disney Plus app by themselves. Like, without your direct supervision 24-7. So, a lot of people say, well, you should watch your children when you're a parent. Yeah, well, that's not realistic. Okay, you, your child has to learn how to do things by themselves as well. You can't just watch your child 24-7 all day long. And you also have other things to do, like your washing, uh, cleaning other things, uh, going to work maybe. You know, of course you carry the responsibility for your child, but by that extent, you can't let them watch Disney Plus anymore. Now another thing, like I mentioned before, is the Disney movies, and I'm like talking about like the reboots, the remakes especially. Now, besides the CGI that can be iffy sometimes, and the really bland like characterization, I think there's something else we really need to talk about. And recently I saw a video by um, Matt Pat from Film Theory, talking about how Disney has definitely lost the plot because they're spreading themselves very thin. And I think that that's the issue. I think that they're going so much for the money that they're not actually putting in the effort into um, into their projects. And I think that this is something that's happening a lot. Like people try to replicate success, so they try to like push it really quickly. But the thing is, you can't do that. The only way you can quickly do something right is if everything has a good preparation. But there seems to be no good preparation. For example, in the DCU, which is not Disney, but just to give you an idea, uh, they were planning a reboot of the entire universe before releasing more universe movies in like, the, the current universe, right? And think about that for a second, that's stupid, right? You're basically saying that everything that people are going to watch is not going to matter, right? And I think that that's something that people don't like. People don't like watching something and feeling like, oh, well, this is just the end of this. Right? What's the point? What's the point of watching then? If if it's just gonna end right there? Well, as for Marvel movies, it's the same story basically. It's just everything is so like done so quickly, and you know, I do think the writing on a lot of these works is terrible. But you gotta understand why. Creative direction from the top. Because they want people to spend money, so they go for the social issues. Same thing happened with the Barbie movie. Now, the Barbie movie was relatively more successful because they actually had some redeeming factors. But basically what ends up happening is that these movies use terrible social uh, ideas and try to twist them and turn them in order to get the audience to spend more money on them. Now, am I saying that politics should not be in movies at all? No, that's not what I'm saying. But I think there's like a way to do it right. For example, if you look at the politics in Star Wars, in the old Star Wars movies, not the new shitty ones, not the Disney versions, um, if you look at the older ones, they actually carried a lot of political commentary about democracy and how quickly it can get corrupted, basically. And I think that that's 
that's a good commentary, right? Or when you talk about like the gender norms, like strong female, I think there's a bunch of characters in historical movies that have been uh, have been made very strong as female characters. But being strong should not happen instantly. There needs to be an overcoming of things. You can't just be the boss at the start. You know, it's it's kind of like even like for example. Let's say that we take the males, right? Let's say that we take Iron Man in the first Iron Man movie. He doesn't really come over as the best guy. He actually has to go through an entire process of like getting better and getting more compassionate and being being a better person basically. We don't see that with these movies that try to make like females or people of color like instantly powerful. Like it's it's just a trend that keeps reoccurring. In essence, what I'm trying to say is that Disney really needs to look at where they came from. If they're going to expand into adult things, they should definitely separate it. Like, have, like, Disney adults, for example. Right? Disney adults. Or Disney... Um... This Disney M or something. It just I know, you can come up with something. You're probably more creative than I am when it comes to making up capitalizable names uh, but the point is do something right do something separate the two and stop trying to do quick cash grabs because you're just losing money you're just pouring it out people don't want it anymore okay people don't want to hear political messages be the center the story should be the center of a movie after the story it can be about the characters. After the characters and their personal relationships and th things like that and their own growth, then you can start looking into the scenery and the CGI and have that be the priority. But after that, that's when you're getting into the territory where you can go like, okay, well, maybe I can do some political commentary, but it should not be at the cost of the other things. Now, in case you haven't yet, I recently uploaded a video um, that you should watch called uh, A Presentation on Lesbians, um, which is like uh, kind of like a funny PowerPoint thing. It's the thing that people do on uh, YouTube for a while now. I think I saw the first person who did it was like the Fairburn Films brothers, uh, so credit to them uh, for giving me the idea to do a presentation. Um, the person I was doing that with was Cherry. Now, Cherry hasn't really been on this channel before, or any of the channels, except for Thai Team Gaming. So if you like gaming videos, I'll be doing them with her and Nico a lot. Now, Nico has been on my other channel too, the Thai Team uh, Entertainment one. Now, there's also more things coming. Like, of course, I'm going to keep releasing new music here, and I'm going to also be doing some um, tutorials with uh, training dogs and communicating with dogs especially. Um, but that's going to come up in the future. I'm also working on a book, uh, which I will also release probably on the MRIN Soul Society channel. I'll do the first part. I'll probably spread it over like this channel, that channel, and kind of like link the two to kind of like get you guys to interact with both. Um, and then also link, uh, link to my website because, uh, I do want to have some ad revenue because, well, um, Money, please. <laughs> now, the reason why I'm mentioning all these things is because I think it's important to know that even though I'm like trying to do quite a bit of stuff at once, I think I have a pretty clear like uh, start of it. So, like a lot of these things were in preparation for a long time, and I think that that's the point that Disney needs to kind of like do too. And I think that's the same point that um, MatPat made, which is. Disney needs to do a lot of more preparation trying to get the project right before it's even started. You need to really get the idea fleshed out, you need to figure out the resources, timings, everything it needs to be kind of like planned out. But when you plan it out, also leave room for improvisation when necessary. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you all for watching, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.